sir. Um, uh, I'm afraid to identify myself as a non-Muslim, but I can't lie to myself that I have this very style to Islam. Uh, so I ask you to clarify this. Um, I would like to ask you some questions, but I think it's very Are you Muslim or are you a non-Muslim? I am complicated. You're born in a Muslim family or non-Muslim family? I, I was born in Muslim family, but I have this doubts in my mind that it's a lot for some time, inshallah, you, are, you will be telling the truth. First, we'll ask a non-Muslim or a non-Muslim family. Sir, but sir, they are not all the rules, brother. But sir, if you are a Muslim family, that is not me. Are you a non-Muslim or a Muslim? I'm afraid to say that because I pray to God. Okay, but I know that you're born in a Muslim family, but now your faith in Allah has gone. You may not be believing in God, correct? Uh, no, I'm not an atheist, but I might agnostic. Agnostic, okay, what's your question? Okay, I hope that I didn't get sin from Allah. I mean, okay. Uh, I would like to ask you some questions that I think is quite important for me. Uh, and um, I've been kept this for my whole life, and I think it is you are the most suitable person that can answer my questions. My first question is: um, most of us, as a Muslim, we all know that. Hummer or alcohol is no longer allowed in Islam for a long time ago. But why it doesn't speak for slavery? Why it hasn't been prohibited yet until now? Uh, because the second question is related actually. The second question is. There are many people reading in the queue. No, no, no. no. But it's related, sir. Please. The second question is. The rules and regulations. But we there are can, hundreds of people waiting okay. in the queue. We have to be just. Yeah, yeah. Four microphones. It's, it's, it's not all you broke the queue. It's, if you, it's not a question. It's not a second question. It's still related. So it's not a second question. And we can actually, if we have one, what I learned that we can actually having having intercourse with them out of marriage. It's just blowing my mind, and as long as hard as I try to make it logical, but it's getting more illogical. Yeah, I've got the question. I've got the question. Uh, and that's, that's the question. The, the first is, is, uh... Maybe you finished your question. You want to ask more questions? No. There are already two questions. Yeah, I'm, that's very I'm, I'm saying to say you two questions. Two questions. Well, then you can ask only one question. First yeah, of I mean, all, you shouldn't have been asking a question. I gave you a chance. I was kind enough. You asked a question. You want to ask one more question. You asked the second question. No, now you want to ask a third question. No, no. I, I don't want to ask the third question. It's I want the question. Yeah, repeat okay. the question. Okay. Let me uh, repeat the question. Most of us know as a... Brother, will you finish or not? You have already finished your question. Yeah, okay. You finished your question, yes or no? Yeah, so, could you please... Yeah, you have finished your question, you have to go behind the queue. I've finished my question, and could you please give me some clearance to watch this? Thank if you. you keep, if you keep quiet, will I be able to say? Yeah. You're so confused. You're keeping on talking and talking and talking. After the question is over, you have to listen to the answer. But the brother said he's confused. He's born in a Muslim family, but he's gone away. He believed in Allah, but he's agnostic. And he's saying, like in Islam, summer alcohol has been banned. Why hasn't slavery been banned in Islam? Question number one. Question number two, that how can you have sex with what your right hand possesses? The second question. What? Uh, I didn't catch it. Please, could you repeat the second question? Whether you're wasting the time. All right. Thank you. 
Oh, you want to give a big lecture on each question? Okay, head set, I get okay, head set. Yeah. Do you want me to answer or will I take the next question? I want you to answer it, please. No, I want to What more do you want to touch? Only two questions over. No, it's it's the questions. Sorry? About the slavery. You are no. having sex with the slave. I cannot think about it. That's it, correct? What do you want to ask me? Yes, please answer it because. You are you are confused, brother. I can see you on the screen. What you are saying, you are understanding. There was a two question. Number one, that alcohol is prohibited in Islam. Why is slavery prohibited in Islam? Point number two, how can you have sex with the slave? As far as the first question is concerned. That why is slavery not prohibited in Islam? There are various verses of the Quran which encourages you to free slaves. And the Arabic word used is what your right hand possesses in the Quran. Allah talks about what your right hand possesses. And when the Quran was being revealed at the time, that time prostitution and sex was very common. Allah got a prohibition that you cannot have sex except. With your wife and that which your right hand possesses. Now Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala brings the restriction that you cannot have sex with anyone except what your right hand possesses and your wife. Today, in most parts of the world, you can have sex with anyone and everyone. Do you know that? You go to America. The American statistics tell us that a man has eight different sexual partner before he settles down with one. And after he settles down, how many more does he have? It's not mentioned. So, according to the American statistics, he has eight different sexual partners. Prostitution is very common in Islam. Prostitution is prohibited. Adultery is prohibited. I have said in the lecture. Now, your question: Why is slavery allowed? The reason is that what I can think of that Quran has not abolished slavery. It has told you that encourage you to free slaves. If you do a sin, okay, free a slave. It is always encouraged. Free a slave. What I can think of, why Islam has been abolished is because it is the only religion which shows you a way that if it comes back, it has the rules and regulations. Today, if you compare to what your right hand possesses in Islam, the right hand possesses in many of the world, and then you touch it, but then we say what your right hand possesses. Today, in English, it will be called POW, prisoners of war. If you see the UN Charter of the World today, how you treat a prisoner of war, and if you know what you are going to do, go to the Mabe. Have you heard of go to the Mabe? Brother, have you heard of go to the Mabe? Have you heard of go to the Mabe? Yes or no? Yes, yes. Guantanamo Bay is a prison created by USA, mostly to keep the Muslims there. All the human rights are violated there. All the human rights are violated. In Islam, what your right hand possesses in Islam, in the prisoners of war, they are let free. They aren't kept in closed wires or closed walls. All the countries in the world, when they are prisoners of war, they have barricades, they have got jails. They have got prisons where they are enclosed. In Islam, they are let free. Only thing they should not run away. And then these prisoners, these what your right hand possesses, has got rules and regulations. You cannot unnecessarily torture them. You cannot overburden them. You have to give them food. Today's prisoners are followed. Everything goes wrong. They are humiliated. They are tortured. There is homosexuality. Everything what you are. So, if you compare the human charter of the UN Charter of Prisoner of War and compare to the rules and regulation of the Quran, at least the Quran has a system of how to take care of the prisoners of war. We did not the human kind. The rules and regulation laid down by the Quran for a prisoner of war is far superior than any country in the world. You show me one country in the world. Which has better rules and regulations than the Quran? For prisoners of war, do you know any country, brother? Do you know any country? I don't know. You, know, you don't know. Therefore, you are confused. So I believe that Quran, though it has encouraged the freeing of slaves, 
if you are not about it because just in case if it comes back, Quran has the rules and regulations. And the God has been taxed with what you are right and possessive. Today there is no war going on, the way I spend in the Quran, so there is no question of having what you are right and possessive. Today we don't have it. At that time, prostitution was very common. Adultery was very common. Women were looked down upon. So Quran has got a restriction. The men cannot have sex with anyone except what who you marry and what you are right and And Allah further says in Surah Nur chapter 24, that if we do not have the means to give my help or get married, then marry her what your right and position is and give her freedom in marriage. That means the Quran is encouraging. Marry what your right and position is and give in a man a freedom. So your Quran is showing a way how to stop the evil practices and come to the straight path. And this is what is mentioned in the Quran. Hope that's the question. Sir, so it's not part of marriage. Sorry? I mean, just the having intercourse, it's not out of marriage. It can be within marriage, it can be out of marriage, but today there is no question of having what your right hand possesses because today there is no Islamic war being fought. Point number one. Uh, this is talking about the time when the Quran was revealed. Do you understand? It yes. can take place again tomorrow. If that thing is in Allah has an abolished it. So here it says you can only have sex with your wife or that which your right hand possesses. That's it. For the answer to the question. But there is so many groups who uh, call themselves, I mean, label themselves as a Muslim, but they, if they are calling themselves Muslims and not following the Quran, I am not to blame. They are pseudo Muslims. What I have given you is based on the Quran. If anyone who calls himself Muslim and doesn't follow the Quran, he is to blame. So to understand Islam, don't look at the Muslim read of the Quran. What does the question level? Can you have the next question, please? Okay. Thank you. Can you have the next question from the sister side? 